Dungeon masters, game masters, storytellers, lend me your ears. I have a pro tip for you. Don't ever kill your players. Let them kill themselves. You see, the thing is, is that I've been running games for a really long time. I've been doing RPGs for almost 40 years, and I've never killed a party. I've never TPK'd total party kill. I've never killed a player. Now, you might be like, well, Bill, your games must be, you know, weak. They, they must suck. There must be no challenge. No, 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 no. That's not it. The thing is, is that I don't kill players. Their decisions might get them killed, but I let the players have full run. I don't create situations in my storyline where the players will walk into something with no foreshadowing or no clue and just get completely killed because I stocked uh, a location with monster or monsters or traps or whatever that are impossible to defeat. If I have something of that challenge level, something so extreme that the players could die, I typically give them plenty of opportunities to figure that out before they get there. I might foreshadow it. I might drop little hints and secrets. I might have information available if they use their skills and their character's knowledge to figure out some advance warning, right? But I don't just throw stuff at my players just to give them a challenge knowing that the, the huge gap between their level and the challenge level, whether it's a monster or traps or whatever, I don't just throw things at them that are going to kill them. I think it's irresponsible because your job as a DM or a GM or a storyteller is to create challenges and to create a storyline and to get your, your players to be invested, right? So if you just throw things at them that are going to kill them, I just, it, it's infuriating to me. So if you do that, number one, stop, because it's not cool. I've been a player in games where DMs just do stuff like that, and I'm like, why did I bother? Why did I make this character? I'm totally fine as a player with my character dying if it's, like, cool, if it's a good death. You know what I mean? Even if I make a stupid decision and it ends up being funny how I died, you know, that's cool. I'm going to give you an example. I was playing in a game probably, I mean, this may go back like 12 years ago, maybe 15 years ago. It was 3.5 D&D. I had a monk. He had incredible stats, right? Incredible. And we were like mid-level. It might have been fifth or sixth, maybe seventh level. And we had heard about this castle that was protected by all sorts of magical protections and traps, but there was a horde of treasure in there, right? We were scoping things out. We were doing recon. We got to the top of the walls of the castle without being spotted. And inside the courtyard, before you even get to the main building and the tower, were all sorts of traps and fireballs and lightning bolts and things being triggered. And we hadn't even hopped the wall yet. But I had huge saves, right? I had huge like acrobatics and deck saves and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I could do it. I could totally do it. And the rest of the party's like, dude, don't do it. You're going to die. I'm like, bullshit, I'll do it. I decide to hop the wall. I start hauling ass, right? Full speed, monk powers. I made it through probably 15 different rolls. Made it through, right? I was like a gambler in Vegas, just running the table. I almost got to the tower and I failed my last save and I died. Now, the DM, it's not the DM's fault. He didn't kill me. My own stupid decisions killed me, but it was fun. I liked dying. That character's a legend, right? That session of making those rolls will be remembered for years, not just by me. Like, everybody still talks about it. It was awesome. But I've also played in games where the party goes into something, right, expecting a certain challenge level, level that's commensurate with the party's, you know, levels and abilities. And you go up against something that wasn't expected, wasn't foreshadowed, wasn't hinted at, that we had no opportunity to prepare for, and we just get wiped out. That sucks. So if you're a DM who does that, stop doing it. You suck. What can I do instead of TPKing my party, Bill? Like I said, give them hints. Give them an opportunity. You know, if you have an NPC villain who's like way more powerful than them, right? Let's, let's use a Tolkien example. Let's say your party is like the Fellowship, right? And the nine of them go out and you got some weak little hobbits in there and you got a couple of good fighters and a spellcaster, blah, blah, blah. And they go out, 
you're going to throw him some mid-level opponents, right? You're not just going to have Sauron walk out in the fucking day and just decimate them. That's not how a story arc works. So don't do that. You know what I mean? Foreshadow. If you have a big bad villain coming, let them know that that big vi bad villain, in story, in character, let them know through little hints and clues. Let them know that they should not try to fight that bad guy because he'll wipe them out. Okay? It's really that easy. Just the, the fact that TPK exists, total party kill, it shouldn't exist. And again, I'm not saying that it's wrong to kill players who make dumb decisions. If the party collectively, after you've hinted and given them clues, if they decide to go up against something that they're definitely not equipped to defeat or to take on, again, whether it's monsters, traps, whatever, if they collectively do that after you've given them an opportunity to back out, after you've given them foreshadowing or hints or clues or whatever, then maybe they deserve to die. But you should never, as a DM, just be going to be like, it's me versus them. It's not. It's not DM versus players. That's never how it should be. You are not the enemy. You're creating a world for them. That's it. So that's some pro tip advice for you. Stay tuned because I'll have a lot more harsh criticisms and coaching tips for you.